Now the trend of iconic lake bars hitting yep. the market seems to be a growing one. Uh, Larry's on the lake officially for sale. Did you see that? How about that? $2.9 million wow. for Larry's on the lake. One of the most recognizable waterfront uh, places, of course. So it's 5.1 acres, 500 feet of waterfront, one of a kind grandfathered floating tiki bar, that huge uh, floating dock oh, yeah. out there on the water, which has to be grandfathered in to do that now, apparently. Uh, the stage, dance floor, 48 boat slips, and the separate wave runner dock. And then, of course, it's got the big wave break out yeah. there. But it's right on the four corners. So I don't know that you could ask for a better spot on the lake yeah. to have a place like this. But it's really struggled the last few years. I'm not sure why. I don't know who owns it or who runs it or anything, but obviously they haven't done a very good job because it's really been dropping off. Uh, we drove by there several times this summer and there were no boats in there, no people there, which is crazy for Larry's. But this, I think this is going to be a huge opportunity for somebody to get that and make it really happen. Yeah, just the waterfront, you know, you're seeing lots now with uh, ideal location. You talked about it being at the Four Corners fetching million plus just for the lot. And you're talking about having that floating uh, barge, that dock that's, I call it the DJ Kyle dock. Yeah. Okay, DJ Kyle plays there a lot. He does <laughs> trivia there. We've been there every year for, you know, the shootout poker run. And they're very, that's been a great place for the local community. And so we've been there a lot of times. And you know what's iconic is that Larry Wood sign. Yeah. You know, up above, yeah. it kind of rivals the Holly Weird sign out there. And, it's genius marketing, really. Yeah. Whoever thought that to put that up there. And in their, in their uh, sales pitch, wherever this is on, it talks about with all that 5.1 acres up above, I mean, if you want to develop that, you know, correctly, you could probably make that a huge event place with one of the best views on the lake, a wedding place, all that stuff. If somebody wants to put it into that property, which the old owners obviously didn't, but the next owners might want to do it. And I will note, you know, for those of you outside the lake area that watch us religiously each week that might be investors, one thing to note about this place is parking is atrocious. You definitely have to do something about that. You ever try to go down there when it is busy by land, you uh, know? No, I've never been there by land, I don't think. Well, you're smart. You got the boat, you got do the, the lake life, yeah. the normal, the lake lifestyle, uh, the normal way. But yeah, it's just, it's like a lot of those lake establishments that coming by land, there's not a lot of parking, but uh, 2.9 million, I saw the price tag and I don't think that sounds unreasonable. Mm -mm. Of course, I haven't went in and inspected the building or know any details, but interesting. And you can find it all over the uh, MLS and online. So uh, 